Hi, Rashmi Singh here with Cisco Tag VPN team. In this video, it is assumed that you already have a working remote access VPN configuration. The configuration described here allows Cisco Secure Client to have full access to the local LAN while still maintaining a secure connection to the headend and corporate resources. This can be used to allow the client to print or access a network access server. Let's get started. Navigate to Devices, Remote Access and click the Edit button on the appropriate remote access policy. Then, navigate to Advanced and then Group Policies. Click the edit button on the group policy where you want to configure local LAN access and navigate to the split tunneling tab. On the IPv4 split tunneling section, select the exclude network specified below option. This prompts for a standard access list selection. Click the plus button to create a new standard access list. Click the add button to create a standard access list entry. The action of this entry must be set to allow. Click the plus button to add a new network object. Ensure that this object is set as a host on the network and enter 0.0.0.0 in the box. Click the save button and select the newly created object. Click the add button to save the standard access list entry. Click the save button and the newly created standard access list is automatically selected. Click the Save button and deploy the changes. After the FMC has deployed the configuration to the FTD, verify the configuration was applied by accessing the FTD CLI. Open a terminal or console session to the device and run the following show commands to check the output. Show running config group policy, name of the group policy. Here, we can see the split tunnel policy is exclude specified and split tunnel network list value is local LAN. Now, moving on to the client side configuration. By default, the local LAN access option is set to user controllable. To enable the option, click the gear icon on the secure client GUI. Navigate to Preferences and ensure that Allow Local LAN Access when using VPN option is enabled. To verify, we will connect to the head end using the secure client. After connecting, click the gear icon and navigate to Route Details. Here, you can see that the local LAN is automatically detected and excluded from the tunnel. That is it for today. If you see any problem, please open a TAC case for further assistance. Thank you for watching.